Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory YouTube channel. This video will demonstrate the procedure to collect a deep pharyngeal swab, also known as a deep nasal swab, from live cattle for PCR evaluation and or bacterial culture. This demonstration, while videoed using a cadaver, is meant to be performed on live animals. The goal for upper respiratory diagnostics is to collect a representative sample from the upper respiratory tract that is distant from areas of possible contamination. Samples taken from the nares are typically not representative of resident organisms in the respiratory tract. For this procedure, a guarded equine culture swab of appropriate length is required. Only one sample is required for each animal. Additionally, a sterile container which contains either Amy's transport media or 0.25 cc of sterile saline is needed. Amy's is the preferred media, although both mediums are appropriate for both viral and bacterial PCR assays and bacterial culture. A pair of scissors and permanent marker is also required. To begin the procedure, gently insert the guarded swab in either nostril until it is approximately halfway between the external nares and the medial canthus of the eye, or until you encounter resistance. Forcing the swab past resistance may cause bleeding. With that location reached, advance the swab forward through the guard. Now move the culture back and forth approximately 10 times. Some bacteria, like mycoplasma, are tightly associated with mucosal cells, so it is important to take the time to collect a representative sample. This view shows the target location for placing the guarded swab and ideal location for sampling. This picture shows that on live animals, minimal restraint to steady the animal's head is all that is needed for sampling. It is also possible for an individual to collect an appropriate sample without an assistant restraining the animal's head. Once the sample has been collected, pull the swab back into the guard and remove the entire device. Drop the guard and place the swab in the media container and cut with the scissors at a length that would allow the cap to be securely fastened. Please make sure to mark the animal identification and date on the media container. It is important to mark the correct box on the bovine submission form. If you want both bacterial culture and antimicrobial susceptibility, along with PCR testing, please make sure to mark the boxes under bacteriology and panels. These samples should be shipped using the guidelines for shipping all biological specimens. For more information about this sampling procedure or other diagnostic questions, please go to the KSVDL website at ksvdl.org or call KSVDL Client Care at 866-512-5650.